past couple of years have seen many new uses for unmanned aircraft systems, or UAS, including public safety and rescue missions, package delivery, journalism and media, agriculture, and photography. As drone operations surge, the role and importance of UAS Traffic Management, or UTM, is increasingly apparent. In this pilot program, the New York UAS test site will showcase its progress in testing a number of emerging UTM capabilities for beyond visual line of sight, or BV loss, operations, including remote identification, strategic deconfliction, operations in high density airspace, public safety operations, historical queries, and new ways for the FAA to handle requests for information. The narratives that you are about to see in support of this showcase are fictionalized scenarios that take place in Rome, New York, located three miles from Griffiths International Airport, where the New York UAS Test Site Operations Center is located. It's a sunny weekend in upstate New York, and the people of Rome are engaging in a number of outdoor activities, including festivities at the local farmer's market and a lively softball game. The first scenario demonstrates how drone operators in Rome manage a diverse range of UAS operations and address unexpected disruptions. Please keep in mind that the names, characters, businesses, places, events, locales, and incidents are either the products of the author's imagination or used in a fictitious manner. Any resemblance to actual persons living or dead is purely coincidental. Use Case 1 narrative demonstrates operational planning in high-density airspace. It's late Sunday afternoon in Rome. Residents mingle at the farmer's market outside City Hall, entering raffles and purchasing local blueberry preserves as they await the evening fireworks show. Nearby, Canadian Border Patrol personnel, who are in the area for training, compete against their U.S. counterparts at a softball field called Pinty Field, which is just southeast of the farmer's market. As these activities progress, Multiple UAS operators prepare their drones for a variety of purposes, including BV loss flights. A package delivery drone makes critical same-day document deliveries around the city. The local television station launches a drone to capture video of the farmer's market for the evening news, while the Chamber of Commerce, which is hosting the market, dispatches a drone to monitor the flow of people and ensure the appropriate level of social distancing. Additionally, a recreational videographer and influencer named Megan uses her drone to stream footage of the market activities for her thousands of followers on Instagram. And a public safety UAS is deployed to augment the Chamber's efforts in maintaining situational awareness at the market. In short, the airspace is getting crowded. With this many operators controlling a substantial number of drones, it's important that the pilots share their operational intent with each other using UAS service suppliers, or USSs, before they take flight. During this process, Megan recognizes that the TV station's operational plan overlaps with hers, thanks to a notification from her USS. In response, she reevaluates her plan and adjusts to avoid conflicting with the TV station's drone operations. Minutes later, the public safety's UAS operational volume is breached by an incoming manned aircraft. It seems that a recreational pilot has taken advantage of the clear skies to fly his private airplane from Griffiths International Airport over the area where the farmer's market is being held. Luckily, the public safety drone operator has the ACAS Small XU Airborne Collision Avoidance System on his drone, which alerts him of the manned aircraft and directs him to descend and avoid the airplane. As drone operation plans in the area are successfully deconflicted, all operators can proceed with their missions. simulations in use case one what we're looking to explore is an airspace where there are many operators flying different types of uas in a common area and in a high dense environment so where there are so many uh, drones operating we want to make sure they're operating safely they're aware of each other's operations and they're able to maintain distance from each other this first use case was to utilize four ussss and six different aircraft, some were simulations, some were live, and we essentially shared information and showed that the basic UTM concept operated. 
We've put our operational tents in and say we're going to fly these individual aircraft. And they get put into the system and that information was, was relayed between the USSs and made sure that there were no conflicts, there were no uh, overlapping flight operations. Four was submitted with a conflict. Okay, four was submitted with a conflict as we expected, so now we're going to submit UAS-4 deconflicted. Another challenge that arises in a high dense environment, especially in a small space, is the overlapping of volumes between different operators. In UTM, what we see is uh, there's volume based operations that occur. And with overlapping volumes, strategic deconfliction becomes a key element that we need to explore and define in order to conduct operations safely. So as part of that particular use case, we added and we wanted to show this technology that we were working with called ACAS SXU. So this is a detect and avoid, a collision avoid system that is utilized with small UASs. We have our public safety USS flying at a, at a higher altitude and we have a manned general aviation aircraft come in the area and it would violate the ACAS uh, remain well cleared area by breaching the altitude. What happened during the demonstration is that the pilot flying that particular UAS would get a guidance alert and tell them this manned aircraft is flying above them, higher than them, and they should descend. And that's exactly what we demonstrated during that particular use case.